My name is Paul Heather. I'm a former Minister of National Defence for Canada. If the production of coal and oil continue, people will die. It is as simple as that. Thousands of lives are at stake, and one of them could be someone who is near and dear to any one of us. In a book titled Light at the End of the Tunnel, a survival plan for the human species, published eight years ago, I wrote about global warming after reading a book by Dr. James Hansen, The Storms of My Grandchildren, The Coming Catastrophe in the Climate, and Our Last Chance to Save Humanity. At that time, I estimated that we had about 10 years to stop the increase in temperature in the sea, the land, and the air. Eight years have gone by, and already the floods have begun. Hurricanes, typhoons, and torrential rains have caused inestimable damage and ruined landscapes and taken many lives in Mozambique and Iraq and Iran, just to mention a few. There is no excuse for inaction. The technology exists to stop global warming in its tracks. And I don't mean using windmills or solar panels or tidal power. I mean using the clean, abundant energy which exists everywhere in the universe. It is called zero-point energy. And the reason you may not have heard of it is because the oil companies and banks have bought up the patents in total indifference to the future of the planet and the human species. I know of a number of cases of people who have developed working models of zero-point energy, only to have officials of some sort come and trash their models and warn them never to build another one. The United States government is well aware of this zero-point technology. In 2000, before his untimely death, Dr. Michael Wolff, who held an ultra-top secret uh, security clearance, reported in a radio broadcast with uh, Mr. Stoner that the United States government had developed both coal fusion and zero-point energy in one of its underground bases in Nevada. Yet they have kept them secret all of these years to put the world at risk. It is absolutely essential that this information be made public and available because it is capable of stopping global warming in its tracks. We, the people, have to persuade our governments to adopt emergency plans to install zero-point energy, the engines, into every car, truck, tractor, airplane, and house in the world. And our goal should be to try to achieve this miracle in five years. It is possible. The purpose of these short uh, YouTubes is to try and get people interested in some of the most important issues facing humankind at the present time. And in order to understand, you have to read books. 
because you will never ever get the information you need from watching television or reading newspapers. It is impossible. So there are some books that I would recommend and they include Dr. Hansen's book, of course, Storms of My Grandchildren, and then Zero Point Energy, The Fuel of the Future by Thomas Vellone, and uh, if you want something in layman's terms, chapter 20 of my latest book, Hope Restored. Thank you.